Del Mar, the students are definitely the highlight with a very close second being all my coworkers and especially those in the American Sign Language and Interpreting Program. Um, I have students now who um, have graduated. Some have gone on and gotten higher degrees. Um, I've got one who's teaching with me right now um, as one of our adjuncts and um, I go out in the community and I interpret and former students are working with me. Um, I have know quite a few of the previous uh, recipients of this award and feel very honored to join that group because I had a lot of admiration for many of them. When um, Exie Hall, math teacher, received the award, I had actually had the chance to interpret for deaf students in her classes and really admired the way she taught. Um, and then last year, Brian Stone, I remember working with Brian very closely and um, just really admired his dedication to his students as well. So I am, I'm one of the people who came from industry, I guess. I was an interpreter for the uh, deaf, um, worked many years here in Corpus Christi, and um, the program got started here at Del Mar, and after a few years I was asked if I'd be willing to teach as an adjunct. And so I thought, I enjoy interpreting, let me see what it's like trying to teach other people how to do it. And I, the only thing I like as much as interpreting is teaching students how to interpret. I had the chance to read the letters that people had written for me, um, colleagues and students, and um, I thought, you know, whether or not I actually get selected for the award, the chance just to see what people think about me just uh, touched me and made me feel really special. I um, think everybody has needs to have that chance to know what people think about them, whether or not they ever apply for or get nominated for this award. I think it's important that we let others know, um, not wait for a chance like this to tell people because it really meant a lot to me and whether or not I ever got selected, that was a very special time for me. Being nominated for the Del Mar College Hall of Fame is the highest honor that a student can receive at the college. The process is intensive. Faculty members and other college personnel who are familiar with the standards of Hall of Fame nominate deserving students. It's important to note that the Hall of Fame is not just measured by a student's GPA. A diverse committee of faculty members from East and West Campus carefully rank the students on a point system. But that evaluation not only measures academic success, but also service to Del Mar College service to the community, and most importantly, attitude. It is my privilege to introduce to you the individuals who are the 2020 and 2021 inductees for the Del Mar College Hall of Fame. When I found out that I was going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I actually cried because starting out at Del Mar, I never thought that I could be a successful student. Um, I felt really excited. Uh, I mean, elated is kind of an understatement. Uh, honestly, when I first got the nomination, I thought maybe my instructor had me confused with somebody else. <laughs> I was just overwhelmed, like excited, because it, it's been like one of my biggest dreams since like I started at Del Mar back in like late 2018. When I was told that I got into the Hall of Fame, I figured all that hard work was for something, all that struggle, was for something. All this time we had to prove that we could stand here too. So when I went to the college, I was like nervous because I saw all these amazing performers and I was like, I can't, I can't be that good like they are. I worked with uh, my coach, Sarah Contreras, and she taught me how to perform. I was able to be that performer and win all these awards. I had been struggling for quite some time. Um, I had gone through some personal struggles for a while. I, I dealt with alcoholism and drug addiction for a really long time. And so um, I got clean through some like-minded individuals that kind of helped me with my sobriety and making those changes in my personal life. The next logical step was to continue to better myself um, and that included getting an education, going back to school. Delmar was more than what I expected. I did not expect such great teachers to start off 
becoming more whole as a musician, being able to sing, um, being able to be in different ensembles, not just with band, but like as well as like a chamber orchestra. So for me, it was kind of a rough awakening because high school, like I kind of, I was a bit of a slacker in high school. I didn't really pay attention that much. So when I came to college, I woke up and with these professors at these at this college, it really helped me wake up. College offers courses from 8 to 16 weeks, so you have options to achieve your goals. What's stopping you now? Learn online, on campus, on your schedule. Flexibility means possibility. Del Mar College. Get your learn on.
I'm Dr. Mark Escamilla, President and CEO of Del Mar College. Welcome and thank you for joining us for this time-honored tradition at our institution. Today, we're recognizing excellence at Del Mar College. This is our opportunity to shine a light on students and faculty members who stand out among their peers. The students we're recognizing were nominated by faculty members for going the extra mile in their educational journey. Over 50 students are receiving outstanding academic awards from across our three academic divisions. These students worked hard and their grade point averages prove it. Many of them also gave their time to clubs, organizations, and volunteer efforts such as the Student Government Association and the Viking Food Pantry. They made their experience here a fruitful and memorable one for sure. Their achievements are even more remarkable in the light of the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. These students had to forge a path of success whether they plan to continue their studies or enter the workforce. Their passion and drive for excellence is what we mean when we say Viking Proud. Four students have been nominated by faculty and selected for Del Mar College's Student Hall of Fame. Their portraits will be hanging in our hallways for future generations to see and be inspired by. This has been a tradition at the college for over 70 years. Inspirational also applies to the instructors being recognized today. Students voted for Instructors of the Year, one from East Campus and one from West Campus. Perhaps no honor is greater for instructors than to be nominated for an award by their students. This award acknowledges the impact you've made in your students' lives. The stories they tell in the future about their college experience will probably include your name. Del Mar College could not be a world-class institution. It is without instructors of your caliber. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations, students and faculty alike, on a job well done. And to the family and friends of those being recognized, thank you for your support. Together, we are Viking proud. Thank you again for joining us, and please stay safe. And now, the outstanding academic students for kinesiology. Alida Gonzalez. Abrina Quintero. And now, the outstanding academic students for music. Julia Arnett. Erica Money. Damien De La Cruz. And now, the outstanding student for communications, language, and reading interpreter preparation and deaf studies. Laura Josephine. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Communications, Languages, and Reading Interpreter Preparation and Deaf Study, Andy Purdy. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Communications, Languages, and Reading Foreign Language, Emily Donato. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Communications, Languages, and Reading Radio and TV, Derek Curtis. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Communications, Languages, and Reading Digital Media, Jalil Hamaway. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Communications, Languages, and Reading Advertising PR, Leah Johnston. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Communications, Languages, and Reading and Speech, Nadia Garcia. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Mexican American Studies, Taylor Jung. Now the Outstanding Academic Student for Biology, Jennifer Norman. And now the Outstanding Academic Student for Chemistry, Richard Rodriguez. And now the Outstanding Academic Students for Respiratory, Dustin Mitchell. Megan Bacot. And now the Outstanding Academic Student for Physical Therapy Assistant, Haley Nelson. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Surgical Technology, Stephanie Hernandez. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Medical Assistant, Samantha Sanchez. And now, the Outstanding Academic Students for Occupational Therapy Assistant, Nora Vera. Leticia Cervantes. Michelle Gutierrez. Chloe Ponce, 
And now, the outstanding academic student for dental assisting, Erica Dews. And now, the outstanding academic students for dental hygiene, Mallory Avery. Lorena Alvina Elizaradas. Amber Baca. Violet Bates. Kayla Cuyat. Sorai Lavia. Jire McCann. Cinderella Moma. Two no. And now the outstanding academic students for radiology technician, Andrea Linquist. Amanda Arzaga. Brittany Garza. Augustine Martinez. Catherine Lofton. Dana Riojas. Monica Revolio. And now, the outstanding academic student for Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Hannah Keeley. And now, the outstanding academic student for Ecocardiology, Aaron Russell. And now, the outstanding academic students for Cosmetology, Chloe Burke. Ross Deanna. Valerie Salazar. And now, the Outstanding Academic Students for Hospitality Management. Brian Kaminsky. Amanda Barnes. And now, the Outstanding Academic Students for Management Development. Seth Hernandez. Savannah Gwen. Christina Mangus. Sarah Underbrink. And now, the Outstanding Academic Students for Accounting, Gloria Morales. Ashley Villagas. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Nursing, Jen Enriquez. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Web Development, Ariel Garza. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Diesel Program, Rodrigo Castillo. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Automotive Program, Francisco Moreno. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Building Maintenance Program, Alvarado Martinez. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Architecture Program, Kevin Carrion. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Drafting Program, Ethan Wynn. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Construction Management, Michael Freetag. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Aviation Airfaring Program, Erica Rocha. And now, the Outstanding Academic Student for Aviation Power Plant Program, Eric Webb. Next, as an advisor for our Student Government Association, I am pleased to announce the winners of the Teacher of the Year Award are Hello Vikings, my name is Sophie Jimenez and I'm Del Mar College's Student Government Association President. It is my honor and privilege to announce this year's Instructor of the Year Award goes to Dr. Brian E. Stone and Trey Marie Alvarez. Trey Marie Alvarez holds a master's and is a registered dental hygienist. She is a first year clinical coordinator for Del Mar College's dental hygiene program. She is devoted to her husband, children, and students. 
It is this devotion that she has developed her teaching philosophy, coupled with some good old fashioned advice from her mom. It has been her privilege and honor to serve Del Mar College in this capacity, alongside her colleagues. Her most important teaching philosophy is to treat each student the way she would want her own children to be taught. This philosophy has been passed down from her mom and it has provided her with a strong foundation in remembering that no matter what she pursues in life, if she cannot extend an olive branch and be that foundation for another, then the rapport is lost and never established. She says, it starts with understanding that although we are here to be an exceptional program for our students to be successful, we must first build a relationship of trust, understanding, and compassion. Having been a student herself, this is what inspires her to be what so many were to her when she was a student. And Dr. Brian E. Stone is a professor of history at Del Mar College, where he has taught since 2004. Before he taught history, Native American studies, and humanities at Dawson Community College in Glendive, Montana for five years. He was also a visiting professor at the University of Texas at Austin for four summers. He holds a PhD in American Studies and a Bachelor's in English from the University of Texas at Austin and a Master's in English from the University of Virginia. In addition to teaching, he has published two books, The Chosen Folks, Jews on the Frontier of Texas and Memories of Two Generations, A Yiddish Life in Russia and Texas. He does a lot of public speaking at academic conferences and public lectures, most focusing on his research of the Jewish community of Texas. He grew up in Dallas, lived and worked a long time in Austin, and now lives in Corpus Christi for the last 17 years with his wife, Sharon, and currently five rescue cats. Thank you very much, both of you, for your hard work and dedication. Hello, everyone. This is Brian Stone, professor of history at Del Mar College. And I just wanted to say thank you to the college, to all of the students who were involved in making this selection, choosing me to be Del Mar College Teacher of the Year. Uh, it was a great surprise, honestly, and it's a great honor. And I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, this has been obviously a very strange and difficult year for all of us. We've had to learn to do everything in new ways and unfamiliar ways just to get through our regular responsibilities and our regular lives and it's very reassuring uh, to know that some of what we're doing is working uh, and uh, so I appreciate this acknowledgement very much and I appreciate uh, being singled out for this really great honor so thank you have a great rest of your semester uh, and a great summer and thank you all very very much being nominated for the Del Mar College Hall of Fame is the highest honor that a student can receive at the college. The process is intensive. Faculty members and other college personnel who are familiar with the standards of Hall of Fame nominate deserving students. It's important to note that the Hall of Fame is not just measured by a student's GPA. A diverse committee of faculty members from East and West Campus carefully rank the students on a point system. But that evaluation not only measures academic success, but also service to Del Mar College service to the community, and most importantly, attitude. It is my privilege to introduce to you the individuals who are the 2020 and 2021 inductees for the Del Mar College Hall of Fame. When I found out that I was going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I actually cried because starting out at Del Mar, I never thought that I could be a successful student. Um, I felt really excited. Uh, I mean, elated is kind of an understatement. Uh, honestly, when I first got the nomination, I thought maybe my instructor had me confused with somebody else. <laughs> I was just overwhelmed, like excited, because it, it's been like one of my biggest dreams since like I started at Del Mar back in like late 2018. When I was told that I got into the Hall of Fame, I figured all that hard work was for something, all that struggle was for something. All this time we had to prove that we could stand here So when I went to the college, I was like nervous because I saw all these amazing performers and I was like, I can't, I can't be that good like they are. I worked with uh, my coach, Sarah Contreras, and she taught me how to perform. 
I was able to be that performer and win all these awards. I had been struggling for quite some time. Um, I had gone through some personal struggles for a while. I, I dealt with alcoholism and drug addiction for a really long time. And so um, I got clean through some like-minded individuals that kind of helped me with my sobriety and making those changes in my personal life. The next logical step was to continue to better myself um, and that included getting an education, going back to school. Delmar was more <laughs> than what I expected. I did not expect such great teachers to start off becoming more whole as a musician, being able to sing, um, being able to be in different ensembles, not just with band, but like as well as like a chamber orchestra. So for me, it was kind of a rough awakening because high school, like I kind of I was a bit of a slacker in high school. I didn't really pay attention that much, so when it came to college, I woke up. And with these professors at, these, at this college, it really helped me wake up. Thank you for joining us today in celebrating the outstanding academic students, Hall of Fame inductees, and Teachers of the Year for Delmar College's 69th Annual Recognition Ceremony. To the outstanding academic students, it is truly an honor to be recognized by your professors and mentors as being exceptional. You should be proud of all that you have accomplished here. This award shows the level of dedication you have for your educational experience. Teachers, your eagerness to go above and beyond your role as instructors does not go unnoticed. We celebrate you today for being an extraordinary educator. Your students and Del Mar College, thank you. To our 2021 Hall of Fame inductees, Joelle, Nadia, Hunter, and Christina, may you continue along this path of excellence. May your fire for education always burn bright. Thank you for your contribution to this college and to our community as well. Your names and portraits will forever decorate all walls and inspire many students to achieve the recognition you receive today. To the families and friends of all who are being awarded today, thank you. Do not doubt that you have in some way been instrumental in helping your loved ones during their academic career here. Congratulations to all.